Hello YouTube. Ooh. What is that? The boat anchor is back. We got the engine back. And here was the crankshaft in it. The uh where is it? The keyway guy all scored up in there. But luckily the guy who was rebuilding my engine had a spare from a 14 horse and uh, the rod in that now is ground 10 under and the piston is 20 over so what happened in this engine was someone aligned the rings up like that both rings were the the gap was in the same place so it pretty much screwed over the whole whole deal there so enough of that nonsense but uh, yeah I got the engine back so that's good um, it's got a brand new friggin Walboro carburetor on it brand spanking new and it's got new condenser uh, new points I still need a dipstick because that's a piece of shit and there is no oil in there, so that's good. Friggin' gives it back to me without the starter or the muffler on it or anything like that, so. But yeah, um, I don't know if the PTO works or not, but enough of that. So, I did get a special package in the mail yesterday from uh, Monte Carlo SSOH. 85 or something like that. I can't remember his exact uh, username, but he sent me a bunch of parts, and that kicks ass. So I got a new front axle for my old 169 that has that engine because it has a lot of slop in it. Um, and I I need these spindles for another tractor I have. I'm not going to tell you about that just yet. Um, new steering antler for. Uh, the other 169 too and headlights even though my headlights are fine I just you know it's for another tractor and uh, these footrests here because I messed mine up and that's the start of geez pick the damn thing up I could not believe how heavy it was and I got a good voltage regulator here I need that and uh, this guy here works well so I know I need that, and uh, this is a John Deere tank, but it's the correct wide frame tank. It's, uh, I actually haven't looked inside of it yet, so. And it looks pretty damn good in there, so that's good. Thank you, Chris. And uh, he also gave me a wiring harness guy here, and a float, uh, a sediment bowl thing. So that's awesome. I can definitely use all this put it to good use so let's um take a actually yeah for now that's good enough see you later okay well now i got the other 169 back in here and i gotta undo my work because it's leaking 10 times worse that needs to be fixed. I tried to goo it up but it didn't work. So get that all back together hopefully. I got my uh, my oil system thing here so yeah get all the dust out. I want to reuse that damn oil so uh, yeah. Big deja vu here but not looking so good See that line right there? Hold on, I gotta get steady. That is a crack. And that is a crack. And that is my bolt hole all screwed up. So, um, 
I got this full almost. I got this Poland spring guy full. And I got my guy here had like half full and I'm not using the pan anymore because it got dirty from wind. So uh, I think I'm going to have to go get some JB Weld and uh, something to seal this transmission really good. So, oh crap. You know, shit happens. Choo chit, yeah. I got this thing jacked up. So, yeah. Alrighty, guys, progress is happening. Got, got a little seat on here, my nice seat. Yeah, choo chit. And um, got my steering column in, all nice and snug. And I put the front axle in. Got that guy hanging out there. Um, so let's test the wiring. Um, it's dark out, so let's. I got uh, this guy connected to the ground and the positive. So without, yeah, without the key on, this, this goes to the coil. This wire here. So let's just stick this guy here. And I'll put you on the meter. Um, nothing. Good. That should be right. Now I'm going to turn the key on. No battery. That's the key on. And it goes. See that? Well, now that I put in that new steering column, well, not new, but good steering column, good tie rod ends. Good, no sloppy axle, good spindles. Look at the play in the steering. Oh crap. Look at that. Some guy's gonna be like, oh man, this thing wasn't even used, but uh, it was. Uh, so, look at that. Friggin' awesome. So happy. But yeah, I got the engine in, I gotta find an engine bolt. Uh,. Put the grill on, things like that.